Standing by empty shelves, huge cubes. Coronavirus restrictions have led to familiar scenes across the world. So far, supermarkets and governments have insisted food supplies remain secure, despite the rush. No need to rush into the stores as if all of the food will be gone uh, and there won't be any left to restock. But behind the scenes, there are signs of strain on the way food is grown, made, and delivered. The majority of the global food supply is carried on ships, but the industry is hardly moving, reeling from port closures across the globe. Now more than 30 ports worldwide are either restricting entry to vessels or prohibiting crew changes, making it very difficult for ship owners to plan routes effectively. Air cargo is turning into a hot commodity, but the grounding of commercial aviation has sharply reduced capacity, making it harder and more expensive to move perishable goods. The travel shutdown is taking its toll on the food supply chain, particularly on fresh produce. It also creates a lack of manpower. Normally we'd be looking at peak workforce from somewhere around the middle of May. We'd, need, we'd, we'd be relying on 75 to 80,000 Eastern Europeans to come and fill those jobs for picking the fresh fruit and vegetables. And obviously with the current travel restrictions, it's very challenging. Labor shortages and restricted cross-border movement coupled with increased demand could trigger food inflation and make certain high-value products such as fruit, vegetables, meat and fish harder to come by. Depending on where you are in the world and, and, and uh, particularly in developing economies, the measures that some of the governments take are quite um, draconial and, and I'm not uh, discussing that that is the wrong thing to do, absolutely not, but they have to make this uh, strong stance and keep people off the street. And that starts to interfere with food supply chains. And so situations like in India are, are pretty dramatic at the moment, I would say. Emerging economies face a higher risk than developed economies, but the supply chain is getting global attention. G20 leaders pledged to ensure the movement of vital medical supplies, critical farm products, and other goods and services. At the end of the chain, supermarkets working around the clock to keep shelves stocked amid the shopping frenzy.